My former father-in-law only buys the best. It's time for you to do whatever it is he pays you to do. Let's hope you're half as good as everything else he's bought. We need to pay the ransom, Mr. Getty. I do not have the money to spare. No one has ever been richer than you are at this moment. What would it take for you to feel secure? More. More. I'm gonna find your son. You're protected from every threat. Unless that threat happens to be me. Paul, I just want to go home. Paul. Well, Mr. Scott and Mr. Plummer, congratulations to you both for making this incredibly compelling film. And I thought the movie was so good. Saw this last night. I have to ask you, Mr. Scott. Uh, I'm just curious. What was the reaction of the cast and crew when you told them that you have to reshoot all the scenes involving Mr. Kevin Spacey? Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I said, so are you available? And then we get into the availability. Mm -hmm. So it has to happen. We can't sit. We'll kill the movie. Yes. And because it'll just won't happen. Because as you approach release date. You've got to put P and A into product, print and advertising. Yes, that's a lot of money. Yes. So suddenly you're saying, well, and, and suddenly you're not getting sold, and so you die. So I knew I had to do it. It was no, there's no choice. And you did share last night the screen name prior to the screen of that. It's, it was just three and a half weeks ago that you did this. Three. I met with Mr. about f almost five weeks ago. Yes, I think so. I can't remember. Fact, I, hate wow. to say, I think it was just o under f over four. Oh, yeah. Which Amazing. Is scary. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. In New York, said he said, "Okay, let's go," and then I went to it, and then th about thirty-six hours later, I knew when, how, when, and if, and. bold move, the role of J. Paul Getty in the film All the Money in the World has been recast with only weeks until the film's release. I was overjoyed when they had told me that this was going to be our group's response. Everybody's really coming with their A-game for Ridley, so it's nice. These three shoots, they're an amazing feat that we're trying to pull off. Ridley's added risk into the game. Mr. Getty, your grandson. Seventeen million dollars to release him. I don't have any money. Your father-in-law has all the money in the world. I was thrilled when Ridley called me to do it. I've always wanted to work with him. Hey, Mr. Getty is unavailable. I'm sorry, Miss Getty. If I make the call, I'm going to reshoot. Interestingly enough, Christopher was always on the list, and he's absolutely on the money. We need to pay the ransom. I do not have the money to spare. The movie is released in theaters in less than a month, and we're continuing to shoot, and everything is going to end up in the movie seamlessly. Why don't you explain the odds to me? Is it a coin toss? Heads, he lives. Tails, he dies. Such a brief time making the film, but really, he dares. How much would you pay to release your grandson? Nothing. It's impressive to see really the Chris working at the level and performing at the level that they are. We have to show we're willing to walk away. I can't walk away. I think really Scott is the only person who could really pull something like this off. You couldn't begin to understand. I just want to go home. He's my son, and I'll stop at nothing to bring him home. No! The film was so good, and your character, I have to say, he... I don't know how to describe Mr. No, J. Paul No, it's Gary. hard, isn't it? <laughs> yes, yes. And, of course, you and Mark Warburg had, I think, were fantastic. Um, did you feel an immediate chemistry soon as... Yes, I did. Yes, in that scene. It was very well written and, and beautifully played by Mark, and it was wonderful to bounce off him. Yeah. He, which scene do you like most? Because I know you, your character, he's in love with, um, you know, his possessions and Yes, that's, that, that's, paintings that's the and, scene. That's the scene where he's cleaning the gun and, and mm -hmm. confessing that he likes that, things that gun, more than people. That gun is about the value of a very expensive Porsche. Yes. <laughs> that gun's about a 200,000 pound gun. Really? Yeah. And was that a, a real that you had to borrow from Getty's from the museum? house? No, from the house. Oh, from the house. It's Lord Salisbury, so he's got a few guns. Yes. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah. Did you have a favorite uh, piece of art uh, from the Gettys Museum? 
The Getty Museum, I don't think, ever had any art, <laughs> as far as I could <laughs> Well, that's, you know, all these paintings in the film that you portrayed, you play the, yes. I would say, the billionaire, the richest man in the world. <coughs> yes. You constantly just, you know, enjoying these masterpieces. Yeah. Do you have a favorite piece uh, that you had in mind? Uh, in, in that room, yeah. in that house? Mm -hmm. Yes. I didn't see all. I didn't have time to see all the paintings. It was good. But uh, what's the, the room, one that we used? The um, room, the big room you're in, I would imagine, on the wall is least half a billion pounds of the paintings. No, oh, yes. Easy. Wow. Easy. Oh, yeah, extraordinary. Right, oh, they, yeah. they go to the ceiling, you know, they yeah. all. So the room where you said, <coughs> I haven't got any more money to spare, you're standing in a room with somewhere between half a billion, three quarters of a billion pounds on the wall. <laughs> no, I know, I know. So, I mean, it, but what is, the, what is that lovely work of art that we were looking at at the end? That's the uh, Jura. The, the uh, Jura, the that's right, yes. Is the child, yes. the beautiful Charles, child. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that was his favorite. That yeah. was his favorite. Yeah. His favorite. Yes. Not even his grandson was his favorite. I mean, he refused to pay a ransom to... No, him. that you're being very literal. <laughs> I think he was negotiating. He was saying, I'm not going to yeah. pay anything because yeah. he knows mafia are listening mm. or knows it'll be passed on. So he's ne already he's negotiating, negotiating. publicly. Yeah. That's why from 17 million down to 4 million. Totally. Smart yeah. man. They will do things to Paul that cannot be undone for any amount of money. We have to pay. This simply isn't possible. My financial position has changed. Really? I mean, 30 seconds ago, you said it was a good day. I mean, I'm not all that bright, but I can multiply as well as you. With oil up as much as it was this morning, you have amassed another fortune. Well, what if the embargo is lifted and oil were to crash? I'd be exposed. I have never been more vulnerable financially than I am right now. Mr. Getty, with all due respect, nobody has ever been richer than you are at this moment. I have no money to spare. What would it take? I mean, what would it take for you to feel secure? More. 